Well hello folks and welcome to another video. So what do I do if I want to take video whilst out on a photo trip? Well stay tuned and see what I come up with. So guys, before I show you what I've come up with, just let me explain to you why I would need a solution to shooting video whilst out on a photo trip. So it would be nice to video or vlog a photo trip and uh, this is my Nikon D810 my preferred camera absolutely fantastic stills camera I actually take great video in all honesty guys but as you can see it's very big very bulky and it hasn't even got a lens on and also it hasn't got the flippy screen so uh, not really a great choice for vlogging so uh, let me just swap that and uh, I'll show you my other camera I've got more than one so this one is my Nikon D300 now again fantastic stills camera this one's coupled with the Nikon uh, I think what's it what's it this 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens now the problem with this camera although it's smaller than the D810 it doesn't shoot video so uh, if I wanted to shoot video that's a no-goer just put that one down folks right so the other solution would be to use my sony ax53 camcorder which i'm using now but i didn't want to be weighed down with extra gear you know and all that because it's just you know you've got to carry it so uh, i needed a, a simple easy lightweight solution so folks i had a poke around in my photographic cupboard so uh, let's show you what i've come up with so the first item is a vivitar flash bracket now this thing must be at least 30 years old. So uh, this thing has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. So let me just turn it around and uh, we'll give you a quick tour first. So uh, on the top, it's a cold shoe. Obviously camera sits on there. But uh, the trick number one is this. Push that little button there and it comes in two parts. So the idea of that was that you would remove the flash from the camera so you could bounce the, the flash off of a wall or anything like that just change the position of the flash and uh, it's actually very comfortable to use so uh, on the top is your cold shoe but that actually will rotate so you could bounce it as well oh and the other thing you can do is you move it around to instead of mounting it on this side so it's like that guys you can actually reverse everything and mount it Oh, it's all fingers and thumbs there you go and you can mount it that way around if you like guys depending on uh, whether you're left or right handed so that's that brilliant bit of kit had it for years right so uh, item number two is that let's move that one out of the way so we can have a better look at item number two so here's item number two now that I'm not sure what you'd actually call that but uh, it's a hot shoe or cold shoe to a tripod screw which is a quarter quarter 20 thread i think believe they are but uh, basically that slides into your cold shoe or your hot shoe you use that bottom one to clamp it down and that one to tighten it up to whatever you've got mounted on the top brilliant bit of kit that is i had it for quite some time don't even know why i actually bought it but uh, bought it for a reason so put that to one side so the next item is, that is my Ulanzi smartphone holder. Brilliant bit of kit that one guys. Quite, quite well adjustable on that. Uh, again, the reason I like this one is because on the top it's got a cold shoe. So you can slide your microphone or even a, a little panel light in there if you want. So I can assure you now guys, you can uh, see a pattern coming here. So lastly, the last thing we need is a smartphone any smartphone would do that's a Samsung Galaxy S7 but any smartphone would do so let me put this together and uh, show you uh, what I think I've come up with or what will work I hope will work actually guys so uh, let's get this put together so let's go all the bits into the picture so what we need to do is put all this together so first of all I'm going to just remove this bracket and that's going to be a pain in the backside so what we're going to do is where does that go that way so we'll screw that onto there and then we're going to lock that down i don't know whether i can actually turn that now oh, i still 
you can't actually turn that guys I'll be better when the brackets on so tighten that and we're going to kind of wind that on to there and how far down I can actually go before it bottoms out there so, I, so if I go to about there and then we just lock that up to there Whoop, very straight was it So guys, that's that. Now then, Oop, let's lay that down. Let's get my phone. I'm sure you can see what's coming here, guys. So the next thing is, I'm just coming with Miss Pooh. I don't think it really matters which way around we put the phone in, but that's the phone. It's screwed in there like that. And the next thing is, the bracket goes on. So you can see the see where we're going with this guys so uh, let me just mount it on one of the cameras i'll put it on me uh what's i put it on i'll put it on a nikon d300 so we can actually uh see what it looks like on the camera so guys there you go all mounted on the camera with just one extra item that i want to put on in a minute but uh let me show you it's quite it's quite so quite big and bulky but in theory i can shoot video and photographs at the same time so uh, let me just give you a better look at the setup guys. So folks, let's take a look at the finished setup. And uh, all I've done is added a little Boya BY MM1 shotgun microphone here. So uh, this is it guys. Not as heavy as I thought. And actually it's quite comfortable to hold. You'd have to hold it with two hands I think. But yeah, it's quite comfortable. So uh, I want to take a photograph. That's all I do. There you go guys, smile! And uh, if you want a video, I can either video with it attached to the camera guys, like this. Or we can actually take it off of the camera and uh, I can do a, a vlog style video if I want to that way round. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to work folks. So there you go guys, that's my vlogging and photographic setup. So what remains now is we'll test it out at some point. Anyway guys, that's for a future video, so uh, we'll catch you on that one. So for now, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all again soon. Bye bye for now.